Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we will be doing something a little bit different. We won't be playing tabs or uh, Roblox or any game like that. We will be actually coding. Um, and this is in a coding uh, language called Scratch, or it's actually called, uh, the programming language is called Blocky. But it is in Scratch, it's an app. Um, so, and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to play, uh, make a working blaster. So basically, to start, uh, you don't have to delete this cap, but I'm going to delete it for now. And basically, we can paint a sprite. I'm just going to paint one pretty quickly, because you guys can make your own and make it look cool. I'm just going to do this one quickly. I'll make a little smiley face. Okay. I'll make... Oh, wait. It's the, the, the controls on this are kind of fiddly. Unfortunately, like, I have to decrease the size of everything, but that's fine. So we'll make a smiley face there. Uh, and then we can make a stick body. And then we can make uh, this. And then I'm gonna... Okay, wait. It looks like his hands are, like, smushed together. There we go. So now, I'm going to make the blaster. I think I'm gonna make it, like, a blue-looking blaster kind of thingy. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do this very quickly. It's going to look pretty bad. Something like that. And we'll have like a little sort of thing here. And that. There we go. Doesn't look perfect, but we'll stick with that. So in the back wraps, I'm just going to change it to kind of like a more um, gray color, I guess. Oops. Uh, so we're going to just do that. There we go. And that's just a little background. I'm just going to do this quickly, but you guys can obviously decorate. So I'm also going to fill in the gun here, or the blaster. I'll fill in that little section right there. And that part is just like the handle, so that doesn't need to be filled in. So now we'll get to the coding. So basically, we're going to do when flag clicked. Uh, we're going to want them to start here every single time. So basically, so when the flag is clicked, when this, this button is like when the code is started, it's going to go right here, which is this location. So basically, if I drag it over here, every time the green flag is clicked, it will go right there. So that's what we want. So next, this is like <coughs> really all the code we need in this um, this sprite here. So there's multiple sprites. So in this one, we're going to paint a new one. And this is going to be the bullet, or the blaster laser. So we're going to make, um, we're going to show like a bright blue laser. I guess it can just be a square. Make the outline blank. There we go. Actually, you know what? We'll have a small outline. It'll just be a little bit darker. And... Oh, wait. Gotta make it on here. So we just gotta make it dark one. There we go. And we're gonna have to shrink the size because it's quite big right now. And there we go. So now we have that done. We're going to, so basically, now the coding will start. So we're going to have a when flag clicked, so when the when the flag is clicked, it will, first thing it needs to do is make copies of itself, because it's not going to just shoot one bullet. So basically what we're going to need to do, is we need to hide the original, which is this. Every time it creates a clone, it will create a copy. Those copies will go to the gun and shoot, or go to the blaster and shoot up. But we want to hide the original, so basically it's just going to hide that now. Every time you start it. So what you're going to want here is you're going to want forever and then an if inside the forever. So forever, if, um, we're going to have if the key on your keyboard space is pressed, you can have whatever key you want, but I'm going to have a space. Then it will, it will um, create a clone of itself. So uh, we're going to have that here. And we got to remember that we need to put a wait one second. Um, actually, we're going to leave that out for now, but I'll show you why we're going to need that in a second. So, when you create a clone of yourself, we want it to start as a clone. So, basically, it's going to go down the line. It, once the key space is pressed, a clone is going to get copied, then it's going to go over to here, and then you're going to start over here. So, it's going to show, because you want to see it, you want to see the laser. And then it's basically going to, we want it to go to him. So... I'm going to start by uh, making a go to, and then we're going to have him go to sprite one. We're just going to name this person, and we're going to name this laser. You should, 
I think that's it. Yes. So, you should just name your sprites just to make it a little less complicated. So, now we have the, it's going to go to the person, and now we need it to do something once it gets to the person. So, forever, and you're going to want it to move 10 steps. So, now it should work. If we click the start, um, you should be able to click space, and bullets will come out. Now, as you can see, a million come out at the same time. And now this is where the one, wait one seconds comes in. As you can see, the it creates a clone of myself every time it's clicking space. And if I hold it down, it's going to like constantly be firing. So, we want to put a wait one seconds in. So now it will only fire every one seconds. You can obviously either leave it out to if you want, if you want that, because it kind of looks cool. Or you could change it to a very small number to, once again, make something cool like that. But I'm just going to leave it at one second for now. <clears throat> so basically what's happening here is it is create once space is clicked, the original is hiding, and once space is clicked, it creates a clone every one second. Um, and it, it shows, it goes to the person, and moves 10 steps. Now there are a few bugs. As you can see, it is coming out of his body, not really the gun. So basically, because the main sprite is actually right, or like the middle of the sprite is right here, and it always goes to the middle. So... What you want to do to fix that is you want to change the orientation. So basically, you want to change the X. So from here, you're going to want to move the X over by, I think, around 60, maybe. So now it's going to come out of there, which is pretty good. We'll change it to 50. And we're also, it's also coming a little low out of the gun now. So we're going to want to change the Y by around maybe 15. So actually, we'll change it back to 10. So... Now it shoots directly out of the gun instead of out of the body. So basically these two these two pieces of code are just to align up line the bullets. So they're not needed, but it makes it look better. Now as you can see, the bullets are um another bug is that the bullets are also not disappearing when they hit the edge. So what you want to do here is you want to go to the control section and you're only gonna go to the if, you're gonna get an if then. You're gonna put it in the forever loop and you're gonna go to sensing, and you're gonna hit. Uh, you're gonna get uh, touching. If if it's touching the edge, you don't want it to be there anymore. So you're gonna to want to delete this clone. So now when it hits the edge, it disappears. So I'm just gonna explain the one the code one more time. We also have now a shoot full shooting laser, so that's cool. So when the flag is clicked up here, the original sprite of the laser is going to hide. So for infinitely, this will happen infinitely, if the key space is pressed, then it will create a clone of itself, it will wait one second, and it will just repeat that process as long as the key space is being held out. So I'm holding it down right now, if I let go, it will stop. When it gets created, um, it will show, it will go to the person right here, and it will change x by 50, and then change y by 10. Remember these two are just for orientation. Forever. So then here is this will happen forever. The, the, it will always move, be moving ten steps until it hits the edge. So if touching edge, then delete this clone, and then the clone will be deleted, and then the laser is gone. So yes, this is a fully working uh, laser blaster in Scratch, and it's super simple. Oh, and the person code is just this. It's very simple. Maybe if this video gets to fifty views, I will make a part where we can start shooting enemies or moving him around or something. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!